Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And I see a lot of comments of users saying that uh, they uh, check their Microsoft Edge browser and are still at version 122. It's not seeing uh, the new version, which was released a few days ago and uh, wondering what's happening exactly. So um, while I was actually looking at some of the online uh, blogs, I noticed one particularly that has many, many, many posts of people that have moved to 123 and Edge doesn't run anymore. It actually just, you know, like does a little quick blank window and then it actually just stops and it goes away. So there's no official news from Microsoft itself. There's no official news that I can find. But I'm starting to wonder if those that have uh, are still on 122, if Microsoft didn't pull 123 uh, because of that problem. So if you wanted the first that actually downloaded 123 when it was available, you got it, and I have it. I've had no issues. I've had no problem with the browser not opening or anything. But it seems that uh, there's quite a few that have complained about the browser not working. So uh, what I'm saying here is that um, it's very possible that Microsoft pulled the update and is fixing the problem before it's releasing 123 again. We'll see if anything pops up as news. This is the side of Microsoft that I hate, the uh, no communications side, where if they do something, you often don't even know about it. So if you're still at 122 and can't see 123, um, my guess is that it's possible that they're actually they've pulled the update and are fixing it before releasing it again uh, because of the problems that I've been seeing in some of the blog posts. Um, there's sufficient uh, people wondering why their Edge browser stopped working that I think they pulled it quickly. So if you weren't, uh, you know, in the first to download it, you probably will um, be on 122 until they fix the problem. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.